Should be Zeno on the air. Welcome. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Pretty good. You said you were calling in, I guess, for the second or third time now to present evidence for a deistic God, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like four or five times. Matt, the thing is, I would love to have the conversation. I just want you to be able to hear what I have to say. It seems like you talk over me a lot, and I would just love to make progress. Well, that we, it's going to be it's going to be incredibly difficult to make progress because, see, my understanding of a deistic God is that a deistic God doesn't interact with the physical world at all. And any there's no way to detect a deistic God, right? I think there is. I think there well, is. It, it's I weird because history. like the definition of a deistic God is one that does not interact with reality in any detectable way. It is it is a, it sure. is a well, if it doesn't detect, if it doesn't interact with reality in any detectable way, then you can't detect it, which means you can't provide evidence for it. I can, but I need you to listen to it. Okay, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm okay. going to give you exactly 60 seconds without me interrupting at all, unless you say something just awful, in which case we'll disconnect you. So go ahead. That, that, that sounds great, because I might disconnect myself. But the thing is, is that what we cannot detect does not mean it's not there. It doesn't negate the fact that it's there. See, I understand mathematics. It, it really seems like you don't understand mathematics. Not understanding that it's not there doesn't negate the fact that it is there. So I can understand that something is there simply knowing that creation is right there in front of my face. The answer is right under your nose. So I can reverse engineer that, use the reduction to absurdity argument, in an intermediate way, not a very simple way, because you don't seem to understand what that is. Reduce the fact that there are so many things in this world that we do not even understand where it comes from, and there are so many effects. We understand a cause causes an effect. The first domino is God, period. That's the deity that I, that I know exists. Done. Okay. Well, thank you for wasting our time, Zeno. I'm going to move on to callers who don't just sit here and tell me how little I don't know yeah, while, they the didn't, while they didn't. No, no, no. You talked. Now shut you the fuck up. Goodbye. Yeah. Shut that's the fuck what up. I thought. Yeah. You just You're wanted to call in. What? What? You just wanted to call in and call point? me names and and say I was stupid. Here's the problem. What is his is point? I I'm going to get to that because I can completely debunk Zeno without him ever being on the show again. So by the way, call screeners, ban him. Welcome to ban Zeno. Um, so here's the thing. He wants to call in and say that I don't understand this and he can get to it with a reductio ad absurdum. But what he started with is really simple. He said, what we can't detect doesn't mean that it's not there. I completely agree. If Zeno would have hung around, we could have handled this really simply because my position is not, there is not a deistic God. My position is you cannot have evidence that would warrant believing that there is a de deistic God. So when he says that just because we can't detect something doesn't mean it's not true, he's correct. But the only way we can know that it's true is to be able to detect it and have, show evidence for it. And if, if his argument for a deistic God is that he can simply look at creation, it's right in front of his face and he can know it, and he wants to use reductio ad absurdum at an intermediate level. Well, first of all, there are not basic or intermediate levels of a reductio ad absurdum. The argument is to reduce something to the absurd to show a contradiction and therefore confirm that the premise that you began by assuming is false. So he doesn't he's starting, understand, yeah, he's he doesn't with understand an that he can't, he can't use it in an intermediate way. And that simply saying that your argument for a deistic, deistic God is to look around and see it in front of your face. We've had week after week of Zeno calling in just basically to call me names. I'm a narcissist. I don't understand math. I'm just too stupid for all of this. It's so obvious. It's right in front of his face. Um, it, congratulations, Zeno. Welcome to Ban. Uh, hey, Dave, you want to take real callers today? Because I'm in the Yeah, I, I knew that would be fun and brief. Um, uh, yeah, bye-bye, Zeno. Uh, 